Okay, so I'll just go through a couple of pictures here. Um, you saw these. You saw them in the video. Just go through. Okay, I'll just fast forward. <clears throat> All right, this we'll read. This is about the 72 flood, which she talked about in the video. I do want you to be aware of the LNW ball field. I didn't show you where this is on Google Earth. I kind of figured you know where this is from our chapter on local history. I mean, uh, school history. Okay, L and W ball field. What does L and W stand for? <coughs> Lycans and Wiccanisco, yes. And this is where both Lycans and Wiccanisco played their home football games. Okay, pretty cool um, place. I do want you to know that this was built, and I mentioned this before, I'll say it again. This was built by the Works Progress Administration, the WPA which was very similar to the CCC, which was the Civilian Conservation Corps. During the Great Depression, and you heard Marissa say this in the video, um, this was during the Great Depression. It was designed to give people jobs. And as you can see there, they worked on public projects such as schools, roads, parks, pools. They built the Westboro Park Pool. They also built the Lycans Wiccanisco ball field. Um, the gymnasium at the old Lycan School was part of the WPA projects. So very important project um, projects were being completed by this organization. Um, of course, over across the mountain, we have the CCC camp. And, you know, a very important part of getting people jobs back, um, you know, really to help them and try to get the country back on their feet on its feet after the Great Depression. Okay, I'll show you a couple more pictures here. Uh, I'm not worried about the number there, but you can see the project. This was project number 25,000. And from what I understand, those are the actual numbered in lines of secession. So they did almost, as you can see here, over 25,000 projects. You know, I think that's pretty cool. And again, you can see the plaque out front. Anybody ever play Little Tigers there? I would play Little Tigers. Anybody cheerleader for Tigers? I was a cheerleader. Has anybody been in the L and W ball field at all? Okay, so we get there's that. All right, so we're somewhat familiar. Which correct me if I'm wrong, I think the only thing that goes on there is a little Tigers football. Is they do baseball there. Baseball? Like practice. Okay. Cool. I know we used to have the teener leagues and all that. We used to play there. Um, obviously, the tools speak for itself. Uh, these are on display up at the Lycans Museum, train museum. Okay. And what was the field used for? Let's just read through that. John, if you would. The Lycans School and Wiccanesco School used the L&W ball field for the baseball game. Yeah, I forgot about that. Actually, before the lights were put up down here um, in this school, they went up there and played their games. I forgot that. Keep going, John. The L and W ball field is currently going on with the Lakers Little Tigers football teams. The field is also used for baseball practices by the L and W. <clears throat> okay, um, totally shifting gears, done with the L&W. Just want to mention the Likens Community Theater, which I think that's completely closed up now too, isn't it? Yeah, and that was a shame. Um, they used to do like impromptu or, oh, what's that called? When you just, you, you want to act on stage or something and you read what you're supposed to read or, and then you have to act it out immediately. What's that called? Mr. Shutt's Club. Improv. improv. Yeah, impromptu. Improv. Yeah. And they used to do that there. It was actually kind of fun. Every now and then we'd just drive up and sit there and watch. It was pretty cool. Yep. Go for a meal over at Kevin's place and then go over here to the theater. It was pretty cool. Um, but I think that's completely closed. And correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think anything's going on in there now. Okay, a little more significant. Well, not that the other one wasn't, but I do want you to be aware of the GAR building. Okay, the Grand Army of the Republic, fraternal organization composed of veterans. You 
served in the American Civil War. You get the idea. Grand Army of the Republic, a lot of history there. And this is the only building in Lycans and one of the only ones in the area that's actually on the list of historic, uh, on the register of historic places, registry. Grand Army of the Republic building. Basically, it's like a VFW. Well, what happened is they actually no longer meet there. Um, the organization is still in existence, but they don't actually have active meetings. This building is now used by the Lycans Historical Society. Okay, and the Lycans Historical Society has its meetings there. I realize that's not a good picture, and maybe somebody that lives by there sometime <clears throat> when you're in Lycans, if you could take a better picture, I always forget to take one. But I was really amazed at how many names there are on that cemetery marker. Or not cemetery marker, but the uh, plaque there. How many people from the area fought in the Civil War? It's pretty incredible. There are a lot of names. And that is only Lycans Wiccanisco. And look at the numbers of people there. I mean, you're looking at about 20% of the town. 25% of the town went and fought in the Civil War. I think that's pretty awesome. Okay. All right, so here's what I want you to do. Go into Canvas for today and go ahead and find that article, okay? Where I said we will read this. And go ahead and read that. It's the article I have there. <clears throat> 